Let's check out this E660.5. One fun thing about our 660.5 is that it has an input selector switch for two channels, four channels, or five channels in. So in the case of my bench, I only have a two channel audio precision. So two channels in is going to create five channels out. So that's handy. This remote is for the subwoofer level control. That's where that plugs in. But something else cool over here in the crossover section. We've got channels one and two have a fixed high pass. Well, not fixed, but it's high pass only from 10 hertz to four kilohertz. Channel three and four has also a high pass from 10 hertz to four kilohertz, but also has a low pass from 50 hertz to four kilohertz. And you can actually use them in low pass, high pass, or band pass. And then there's the subwoofer with its own on channel five own crossover 50 to 250 so you can make a full three-way system here with this amplifier you could have your channel one two be tweeters high passed at 4k three and four be band passed from you know two or three k down to 150 hertz or so and then have your sub at 100 down you'd have a full active three-way here all analog so that's pretty cool these are on Crazy sale right now because I have too many of them and I need to move some of them. So making a little video on my bench about its features and I'm gonna test it. And channel, well channels one and two, and then channels three and four are the red trace. They're in band pass. I'm gonna just start moving the high pass part of the band pass. You can see this changing that part of the Band pass. You can see here we'll change the low pass part of the band pass. See what that looks like. So yeah. Alright, there we are, point two two, point two three. So I'm actually running bridged in that bridged 8 ohm loads is the equivalent of all channels running at 4 ohm loads. Right. Let's go back to 5 watts where we were. Where? No anomalies. Pretty even, you know, decreasing distribution of harmonics. Okay, no surprises here. Those four channels look good. We should see how much power these channels put out. Oh wow. That's eight volts of input with the gains all the way down and it's still not clipping. So this thing can take a ton of input voltage. So I'm gonna have to give it some gain so I can run my power test. All right, now we got some gain. Let's go run our power test again. Okay, so four ohm stereo, you divide those numbers in half. So it's about 65, almost 70, between 65 to, I guess, 68 watts per channel. Our rating is at 55 by 4. <laughs> 220 per channel approximately, so 110 times 4. It's great because as you saw our rating is 90 times 4. So that's great. So we're already at a total of uh, 400 and 40 watts. We still have the subwoofer channel. Let's give that a measure, see how it performs. 219 watts. 
at 4 ohms. We're rated at 190. So we're already at the, uh, at the rating of the amp of 660, even at 4 ohms on the sub. So let's take her down to 2 ohms. The subwoofer channel can handle 2 ohms. Let's run it there. All right, two ohm test. Three seventy four point five, and it's rated at three hundred. So, conservative ratings and total power of this amp is closer to eight hundred watts. And there you go. I'm going to wrap it up and maybe ship it to you. Thanks for checking out the video, and like I said, I have lots of these in inventory that need to go. My uh, Amazon stock got too old on this model. We had to bring some back. Um, I didn't want to dump them through Amazon this time because there's just too many fees associated with that, so I can give a better price if we go direct on Facebook or, or direct you know, to, to us. So check out the link. Thanks for watching.